Namaskar. In this video, I will discuss about stress and heart disease. Man is subjected to far greater stress and strain today than any time in history. Technological and economic advancement has created a pace and lifestyle with which the individual cannot keep pace. Man is the victim of the monster he has created for himself, the monster of progress. Mental stress is the penalty he pays for becoming civilized. It is true that some people are more prone to suffer from the effect of stress, but no one is immune to it. Only the threshold varies. Stress affects different parts of the body and can lead to various diseases. In recent years, the incidence of coronary heart disease and hypertension has gone up. Though high blood pressure is prevalent throughout the world, very little is known about its cause. About 10% of high blood pressure cases are secondary to diseases of the kidney, aorta, endocrine glands, etc. These are cases of secondary hypertension. In the other 90% no cause for high blood pressure can be detected. In these cases the etiology is unknown and therefore the condition is labeled as essential or idiopathic hypertension. It has been seen that urban populations have higher blood pressure levels than the rural populations. This is probably due to the fact that people in the urban areas are under much more stress than those in the rural areas. The higher standard of living, higher education, higher incomes and more skilled occupations are associated with higher levels of blood pressure. There is also more stress in certain JPBS. Executives, professionals and people working on jobs with deadlines are under stress most of the time. It has been noted by Rusek and Zoman, eight in a study of coronary patients and an equal number of controls that job stress is accounted for greater differences between the groups and the other risk factors like diet, heredity, obesity, smoking or exercise. Most patients of hypertension are treated by drugs which have to be continued for life. Drawbacks of drug therapy are the cost of drugs and their side effects. Hence other measures which would help in lowering blood pressure without drugs should be welcome. This is where biofeedback, yoga and other relaxation techniques play an important part. This study was undertaken to find out the effect of relaxation techniques, biofeedback training and shavasana, a yogic exercise in patients suffering from hypertension. Material and methods. A total of 27 patients of hypertension were taken up for biofeedback training and 86 for shavasana.